Watch out. Back up. Wow, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. What is going on everybody? Here we are, finally made it. Back to Port Aransas. I haven't been here in like, man, it's been like five, six years. I used to come here all the time, but you know, I got busy with life and other stuff, you know, work and school, family. So here I am finally back out here and I'm so excited. You know, I've been wanting to come here for a long time. But see, one of my favorite things about Port Aransas is that it, the landscape is completely different here. The water is so different. The bars are so different. Everything about it is so different. You know, it's a brand new challenge. And plus, the water here is almost always beautiful. You know, like in Galveston, that thing is like, man, it's like chocolate milk out there. Kaka, you know, it's just nasty, you know. Every now and then you get a nice, clean, blue water weekend, you know. Of course, it falls on a weekend. But, you know, I, I work weekends. But anyways, but here, I mean, it seems like it's, you know, it's not always, but it, it happens more often. Check it out, y'all. See, it's beautiful out here. So I'm camping out. I'm very happy to be here. You know, I've, I get to fish with homeboy Matt. Matt Saltwater fishing. You know, I've been the last time I fished with him was back in like 2017 at the Port A Jetty. You know, so hopefully we can uh, go to Packery and hopefully get on some kings too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cast out some big baits and hopefully uh, we get something big. Damn, real clutch with that big whiting. Man, you are the bull whiting queen right there. Check it out, y'all. Man, she comes through with these big whiting. We're about to cut it up, cast it out. So Alice came through with a big old whitey. Check it out, y'all. We're gonna use this for bait. Look at this bird is trying to get that whitey head. Wait, <laughs> okay. Look how thick this piece is. Oh man, look at all this. Perfect prime bait right here. Man. This is a nice something, Lee. I don't know what I'm gonna catch with this. But man, it'll be good, cause this is a nice chunk of bait. All right, so here we go. We're gonna cast out my 10 foot setup with the black Avid SX, 50 pound line, 50 pound shock leader. And I got one of my uh, my rigs here. It's a six foot rig right here. Check it out, y'all, Elite AF. And I got a nice chunk of whiting right here. We're gonna cast this out. We got eight ounce weight. So this is eight and bait right here. Hopefully we catch something decent right here between the second gut. The water's a lot deeper out here in Corpus, all right? So hopefully this will work out. <sighs> no fucking steamers out here. how much deeper the water is here. <laughs> much deeper. All right, look at that. I can just get it past that little bar right there and that we should be good. All right, so I got in the gut between like the first and second floor, that's pretty good. Check it out, pretty good cast. We're right in the gust before we cast the good. The water's much deeper here. You know, it's different, so uh, you gotta get used to it. All right. Gonna get the other one out real quick and uh, hopefully get a hit.
front of home. Here I got my Avid MXL. We got that uh, plays out right there by like the third bar. We dropped it off right there, and um, hopefully we catch something. All right, so we gotta, we gotta, we have to go out a little further because a lot of people shooting close. Got a terra firma cast out rig that we're casting out there with a big whiting head and an eight ounce bait. All right, so hopefully that'll do the trick. All right, let's get this out. I'm gonna get past these breaking waves right here. Ton of seaweed right here in this first sandbar area. First go right here. A lot of seaweed everywhere. Not, I, don't, I don't see much seaweed past this area, but definitely right here. There's a ton of it. And there's a hole right here. Check it out, man. It gets deep quick here. There's a lot of seaweed right there. It's crazy. All right, let's go. Got a nice hit on, on the bait rod. Hopefully you got some clean bait here. I know we got a bunch of seaweed, but there's something. It felt like there was a hit on here. So hopefully there's a, something nice. Here I got my uh, Daiwa Coastal SP Surf Rod, the seven footer. They call this a surf rod, but I mean, it's more of a boat rod. And I got my uh, old trusty eight year old Daiwa Ballistic Sur uh, EX 4000. Oh, I just, it just took a swim too. So uh, let's see what we got here. Still very durable. What's this? Oh hell yeah, this is prime bait. You see, this is what we need right here. It's all tangled up. Oh, that's a really nice this is a nice whiting right here. Wow, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. That is a, oh my God, this is a big fish. This is a big fish. I don't know what it is. So. This is a big fish. Oh. It's oh my god, look at this. coming in oh my god fighting this thing for 10 minutes. It's dead weight, it's pulling a lot of drag when it's getting close to the shore. God. Oh my God, this is a lot, man. Been fighting this thing for a long time. 
on this rig. Huh? Nope. Uh, I'm almost about three quarters of the way there. Huh? Far. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it at the sandbar. It's so fuck. I gotta go get it. It's a, oh my god, that's a big black tip. Yeah. I need wire cutters. It's a shark. Oh man, that's a big black tip. Okay, here comes the crowd. Watch out! Watch out! Back up! Yeah, definitely wasn't trying to catch this. Huh? How do you get it off? Doug, we're about to get it off right now. Alright. I got the hook out. Can I get a picture real quick? Oh.
go. There we go. Whew. That was nice. She's off. That was cool. Whew. That was a workout. Did it give you a good workout? Yeah, 15 minutes. I think I beat this time. Ah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Got the nature boy over here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Daddy! Woo!